What's up guys, it's Dwayne from Mountain Buck and I am back with another Throw and Grow food plot video. This time I'm up in my woods in my usual spot. As you can see in this field back here behind me, there are tons of ferns and this is the only open area I have out here in the woods. My soil up here is acidic and it's very rocky and I found there are two ways to tackle these ferns over here. The first one is to plant early in the spring before those ferns grow up and hopefully that crop can compete with those ferns. You can check that video out right there. or tackle them late in the season here it is almost the end of august i'm out here a little bit later than i wanted to be rain and all kinds of stuff delayed me but here it is the end of august here so i'm going to whack those ferns down and they won't grow back at this stage of the game so that's what i'm doing here today what i'm using is comeback kid from domain outdoor this has four different types of clover in here plus alfalfa this is a perennial mix that's going to grow for up to five years so hopefully in the spring this stuff will be growing up before the ferns get in here and i'll have deer in here uh, before the ferns even take place or all the way into spring summer and then through fall so what do we have in this mix right here we have four types of clovers like i said we have the ladino white clover at 18 percent alcite clover 14 percent red clover 14 percent 8.78 percent alfalfa and burst seam clover at eight percent so some really good stuff in here and what i'm going to do for this throw and grow food plot is i brought up my typical grass whip my hard rake here that I always use. And I got a few comments on my other Throw and Grow food plot videos. I said, hey, why don't you bring up your weed whacker and just whack all this stuff down? Now I'm thinking, I know all these tall ferns and all these tall weeds up here are gonna clog my weed whacker. So I'm gonna get frustrated, but I did lug that thing all the way up here. So let's put it to use and let's get to work. All right, <laughs> so we've had our first clog here. Not a huge deal, but I gotta say, uh, thank you to the guys that I said, use a weed whacker because it's just totally wrecking shop out here. And if you angle it down, you could even kind of till up the dirt a little bit with it there. So uh, minimal tangle so far, and it's going way faster, a lot less effort, less blisters than if I was using my old school grass whip here. So thank you guys. If you have any other helpful suggestions, Please put them in the comments below. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, I think I'm about done here with the weed whacker. My string ran out here and I did bring extra string, but I have enough room back here for a nice little micro food plot, micro kill plot back here. So I'm going to call it good on the, uh, weed whacker i'm gonna move on to the rake here and i have never seen so much vegetation in this area and i know it's because i didn't put a food plot in here last year so that was definitely something i'm learning from gonna not do that again but there's so much vegetation in here and if i would have managed this a little bit better last year i'd be dealing with a lot less of this stuff this year so on to the rake There are just rocks everywhere. And if I can get a little throw and grow food plot going here in this acidic, rocky soil, pretty sure you can too.
All right, our comeback kit is in the ground. I overseeded it a bit out there, but that's okay. Let's hope for some rain and check back in a couple weeks. Guys, we are back after just two weeks here and we had a couple decent rains come through and this clover is absolutely crushing it here. A complete carpet all over this little area. This stuff is absolutely thriving. You have little green sprouts everywhere. Those four different types of clovers just popping up here all over the place. Nice, lush, beautiful carpet of clover covering this area. And this stuff will be back here in the spring next year. It's a perennial. It's going to grow up to five years, coming back every year. And it's going to compete with the ferns in here. We're going to have deer in here even earlier in the spring next year. Take a look at this little spot behind me here, this nice little track of clover growing up. It is even growing in that dead log right there. That is absolutely phenomenal. You'll notice those ferns aren't growing back. We're into September here already. Those weeds aren't growing back at this stage. That clover is popping up like crazy and I can't wait to see the deer come in and hit this stuff. I will keep you guys updated and hopefully bag a really nice big buck at the end of the season here. So check back for updates. As always, the links guys we talk about are in the description below. Guys, get yourself some killer mountain buck gear. Do me a favor, hook me up and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and we'll see you on the next one.